Chenna Rashid, Associate Professor of Commerce in the Syriac Government Degree Girls College. Today is uh, my topic is problem solving. In many many ways, in management process, we have to follow follow and solve the problems in our daily routine life. In running our organization, business organization, it most of the time happens that we have to uh, solve our organization problems first, and then we have to proceed further. So problem solving is a process in which problem is a actually what a problem is. Problem is a deviation from some standard or desired level of performance to which a person is committed to find a solution. The person or the manager is committed to find a solution. So we have to first uh, uh, define the hurdle in the way of work. We have to uh, solve. We have to. Uh, uh, we have to. Uh, remove those hurdles from the way of our work unless and until we will not remove the hurdle from our work uh, uh, work uh, so we will not be in a position to achieve our organizational objective problem solving again is not a single step activity but it is a process it is a continuous process in which there are involve several steps first we have to state the problem very clearly unless and until in a very understandable we are not explaining the problem, it will not be possible to find out the causes and solution for the, the particular problem. So first we have to state the problem. Then we have to state and find out the present level of the problem. How much big or small is our problem in the present level is. So after defining the present level, we will uh, find out the better solutions for that particular problem. Now, what, is, uh, what objective actually we have? We must have to find out, we must have in our mind what objectives we have to solve this problem. Why we are willing to solve this problem and what uh, results we are expecting after solving this problem. So, we must know about the objective of our uh, situation of solving the problem. Now, come to the next step, possible purpose. There will may be very many causes for the particular problem uh, status, but we have to find out those uh, causes that are uh, connected with that problem, that have a link with that particular problem. So unless the problems, uh, problem causes are identified, we will not be in a better position to understand and to clarify our hurdle from our uh, daily work, routine work. So possible causes, causes should be find out, selecting the most likely cause, this is, this is again a uh, decision making process, we have to uh, uh, analyze the possible causes then we have to select the most likely cause for the problem which is creating the problem, the cause that is actually creating the problem should be identified very clearly. After identification of the most likely cause, we are in a position to find out the alternative solution for that particular cause or problem. So we have to find out those alternative solutions. Uh, these solutions uh, should always be possible in our uh, organizational environment level. So these alternative solutions will, uh, will be find out and a list will be prepared for this alternative solution. Each and every alternative solution should be analyzed carefully and uh, in the light of merits and demerits and consult with our organizational objective uh, uh, for solving the problem and the cause that we are identifying. So these, uh, this analysis will make us in a position to compare the alternative by themselves. So after comparing these alternatives, we will be in a position to find out the most, uh, the better, best, uh, uh, best possible solution for our problem situation. We will have to make the decision for the best possible alternative solution. After finding out the best possible alternative, uh, uh, best possible solution for our problem, we are in a position to make the decision. <coughs> Action plan should be prepared. Action plan <coughs> will be prepared for the solving the problem. Action plan will help uh, only in this situation when it will be implemented. So we have to implement the action plan and after doing all these things, things we have to accept the credit 
graciously who those those individuals who work with us who were very much contributed in this process so their contribution should be accepted thank you